this is how to make chana or paneer, which is Indian cheese, fresh cheese. It's like cottage cheese or ricotta. Um, you boil some milk in a pan. You bring it to a boil. You stir it so it doesn't stick to the bottom. And once it's boiling, as soon as it just barely comes to a boil, then you take some vinegar water or you can use lemon juice in water. You turn off the heat, then you add the vinegar water a little at a time. And you'll see that a change starts to occur. As you stir it, it starts to separate into whey and curds. Chemical reaction takes place. And you put some more of the vinegar water in. I used about a third of a cup of vinegar in a cup of water, half a cup of water maybe. You only want to use just barely enough because you don't want it to get tough. So as soon as it starts to separate, then you stop adding the vinegar water to it. And just keep stirring it. You're going to see a change occur. When it starts to coagulate, it happens all of a sudden. This is the type of vinegar I use. It's called Bragg's. But you can use any kind of vinegar, really. Well, it hasn't congealed yet, so I'm gonna add some more vinegar. Just pour a little bit in. It's starting to form curds. I don't know if you can see that. And when it separates, the whey looks yellow and the curds look white. And you're going to put it through a cheesecloth in a strainer. I put that in the sink already. I'll show you. I have a strainer with some cheesecloth in it. And I'm gonna pour the curds into that. The whey drains off into the sink. I suppose you could use it for another purpose, but I just drain it off and I use the curds. Sometimes it takes longer. When the milk is really fresh like this, it's like, it takes longer to like separate it out. Get a little more vinegar to it. Maybe a tablespoonful. This should do it.
10 years good. Um, you can fry it in butter and add it to peas and curry. Uh, curry spices and potatoes. Go with peas, potatoes, and curry spices. There's lots of different uses for it too. Just eat it as a snack. Okay, now it's really starting to separate out. You can see the whey is like separate from the curds. Okay, now I'm going to pour it into the cheesecloth. Then we're going to tie up the cheesecloth and let it drain. Then we can put the channel lump on a plate and press it to get rid of all the moisture. Put another plate on top and put some weights on top and press it to get rid of all the moisture. I'll stop the camera and show you. Okay, so I poured the mixture into the cheesecloth over a colander. I use a rubber band around the edge to keep the cheesecloth on the colander so it doesn't fall inside. And then you just let it drain for a little while like this. Put a plate underneath so it doesn't get all over your floor. And then after it's drained for a while, tie the ends up and hang it up over your sink or anywhere and let it drain completely. So I just tied the ends of the cloth and it's just dripping now. Once it's done, you can put it in the refrigerator and cut it into slices and cook it in butter. It doesn't need to be cooked, but it's good if it's cooked in butter until it's brown. So that's how you make chana. This was taught to me by my friend Trevaney Popat from the Vedanta Society. Have a nice day.